Hi guys. Um, I was thinking about now with my new camera and everything and me getting used to it and loving it and taking it everywhere I go, I wanted to do more now of like a diary sort of vlog. I was especially touched last week about a friend who asked me how do I do it all and usually I'm like I don't know but really when I need motivation or inspiration I turn to YouTube and I look at my other friends and I look at my family members and I get inspired by all of their hard work so I was like why don't I film what I do and it <laughs> like I don't think much could come out of it but I mean if it does for some people that's awesome if it doesn't that's okay too but yeah I think I'm gonna try it for a little bit and see how it goes also to put my camera to good use because I did spend a lot of money on this camera and I so but if you guys don't know me hi I'm Bronte I am 28 years old I always wanted to do a YouTube channel because I get so inspired by people's journeys what they do for a living traveling everything so I always usually just pop on YouTube if I need a little bit of inspiration so I've always wanted to do that but never really started so now I'm gonna start about me I am lab manager I graduated from college in 2014 with a neuro degree I wanted to go to med school, thought about it, didn't want to do that, but always wanted to be in healthcare. So now I am finishing up my second bachelor's degree in nursing. So I balance pretty much full-time lab manager duties. I teach technicians. I work in microbiology. I work on projects. I've worked on graduate work. I do that, plus my full-time of nursing, plus other life things. I have a podcast, I'm now doing this, yeah, it's a lot. Um, so if this does give any inspiration to anyone, that is awesome, because we're all in it together, but I mainly get inspiration from other people, so I figured, why not? So that's my corny self, let's see how this goes. You know those moments where you don't have anything in your house to eat and you're so busy, the last thing you want to do is grocery shop? That's where I'm at right now. Yep, currently 5.35 in the morning. Why am I up, you ask? I gotta go to work. The mood. Normally I wake up around like six ish so i'm just gonna get ready and maybe get a coffee get to work log on to my classes because we have to wear masks in the lab i don't really bother with a lot of makeup usually i just do my eye area because that's the only part that really shows day starts at 7 30 for me so when I arrive I head up right to my office and because I am a full-time nursing student I bring my nursing books with me so I set up in my office and whenever I have any downtime I like to read catch up on homework watch recorded lectures but oftentimes I'm usually making lists for what is needed for the lab anything that has to be done within the week and I review schedules for people and pretty much determine how the whole rest of my week is looking in terms of my job. Midday chaos. Absolute chaos. I have like schoolwork over here, agenda book, work stuff over there, my personal computer, just answering some emails and it's literally coffee over there. It's literally nuts. As a manager or as a scientist in general, I review protocols. 
I evaluate data a lot and see if there are any trends from any data I've collected the day beforehand. I help write standards of procedures and protocols. I review anything that could be of use in the lab as well. We also have to take regular temperature checks uh, just for COVID because we do work in a confined space. So we try and check our temperatures every four hours just to keep everyone safe and healthy while we get to work. I work with live cultures, so maintaining them is very important. So I routinely check up on where we keep them. I make sure the temperature is regularly controlled. And I also check up on the lab as a whole. I check on our preserved cultures. I check on what was done the day beforehand. I check if we need any more materials and what is needed generally. Whenever I can squeeze some time in for some schoolwork, I do. I have to continuously listen to lectures, take notes, and by doing this throughout my day, I reduce the load that I have to do later on in the evening. Now, normally I have students, interns, and other technicians that I train and teach, but since they're off at college, it's been pretty quiet, but that also means more work for the usual employees in the lab. So it's been kind of hectic, but we always have to keep data running and we always have to keep things moving. So it's a process, but I also work with genetics and DNA. And because we have a lot of live cultures, that means a lot of DNA. So continuous DNA work happens almost every day for me. So I try and work out right when I get home from work. That's why it's over and done with. I just realized tomorrow is my last day of clinicals for nursing school and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a surreal moment. This is my second bachelor's degree and it just feels like you're in school forever. But I don't know, just reflecting back and the lights at the end of the tunnel and all this hard work. It's like exhausting to think about, but at the same time, it's very rewarding. So I just kind of got emotional for a little bit. Tip for you, if you don't know what to do for a workout, honestly, put on any dance routine on YouTube, try and mimic it. And if you keep watching it over and over, you will memorize the moves and then you can do it full on out with them and it will make you sweat. I am dripping right now. I'm about to have a shower, but I just did 30 minutes of it and I am dripping. So I'm going to make dinner and I'm really trying to stick with it this week. So I am going to make like sauteed shaved chicken. And I also have been researching about kimchi it's fermented cabbage um apparently it's supposed to be really good for you it's only one gram of carb in every serving and every serving is like an ounce so that's really nothing i'm not going to eat the whole thing so i'm probably just going to stir fry some chicken up maybe do like a side of peppers or broccoli and then i'm good to go So this is the final result. I ended up cooking some scrambled eggs with cheese on the side, a little bit of sour cream. And this is the kimchi shredded chicken combo that I did. I just roasted some red peppers and onions with it. Again, I've never had this before, so I'll let you know how it tastes. And some cabbage on the side for a little bit of crunch. When I opened the kimchi, it was very, very potent. All right. First initial taste test. Let's do it. And I figure you have to eat it with chopsticks. You know? Just grabbing a little bit of everything. You know what? No, I'm just going to try the kimchi on its own. With a little bit of chicken. Okay. Mmm. 
I think like, depending on what kind of like spiciness it comes in, I think I got mild. It depends on the flavoring, but that's really good. Like I kept it plain, just chicken, peppers, onions, and the kimchi, but that's really good. I'm a fan. Also, how do you use kimchi? Am I, did I do it right? Do you fry it in a pan? Does anyone know? Cause I feel like I did it wrong. If I'm doing it wrong, let me know, but it tastes good like this, so I guess it's right. I changed it to something comfortable, and now the grind doesn't stop. Nursing school does require a lot of time, so I have to study pretty much every day, and I try it and at least get a couple hours in, two, maybe three hours if I can manage it. It's really hard because by the end of the day, I am exhausted, but... If I don't, the notes will just pile up and I can be a procrastinator, but I've been trying to stick with it. So in my hair, I've just completely given up on it today. I was looking at the earlier footage. I'm like, yikes, but can't go back now. So I'm just gonna study for a little bit and probably study up until the end of the night, really. How does everyone else study? Do you, are you a PowerPoint person, book person? My normal setup is I have all my PowerPoints out with my PowerPoint running and I can listen to my teacher lecture. She's so cute. I've got my nice collection of pens, my books out, my iPads out, my sticky notes, highlighters. Literally, it's an organized, disorganized mess. So. What do you guys do? Nursing school is wild, so. Mm. It is so early. Anyway, good morning. I am getting ready for my last day of clinical and I'm so excited. I was actually searching through my doors, doors. I was actually searching through my drawers and I got so excited because I found these. I totally forgot. Look how cute these socks are. I'm gonna wear them. They're like paintings. I love them. I don't know if they caught on camera. Can you see those? How cute. I don't know which one to pick. And also too, it's so cold outside. So, one of these cozy heat extra warm shirts are a must. Wish me luck. This is so warm. Highly, highly recommend this. I got this for Christmas last year and I just am opening it now. Yeah, that's my life.
All right, time to give this a go. Let's see what this is all about. Twice, it doesn't look great at all. Sorry, the zoom is not working. It's actually okay. It's good for what it is. A little dry though, but I don't know if I even made it right. <laughs> 